Hello, my name is Kaze and welcome to the very first tutorial in my brand new YouTube channel, Right Brain Tutorials. I am very excited to share uh, every little bit of knowledge as I learn it and I hope you will find this useful. So uh, let's get going. The very first thing I want to talk to you about is something that made Houdini a lot more usable for me right off the bat. Now, I'm a Mac user and I know a lot of Mac users will probably have this issue. Um, some PC users might find this useful as well, especially if you're on a laptop. Okay, so um, here is uh, Max on uh, Cinema 4D, and uh, basically if I want to navigate my viewport, um, it's pretty straightforward. You hold down like the um, number one key on your keyboard, and if you uh, left click, you can pan around the viewport, and if you hold down the number two key, you can uh, zoom in and out on your object, and if you hold the number three key, you can uh, rotate around your object in, in the viewport. Now, the problem is that Houdini is a little bit different. So the way you would normally navigate the viewport in Houdini is you would hold down the option key, and if you uh, left click on your mouse, then you can rotate around your object in the viewport, and if you right click, you can zoom in and out of the viewport. The problem is that if you want to um, pan around your viewport, you really need a three button mouse with a middle button, okay? And this is a bit of an issue. Um, so first of all, as a Mac user, I really enjoy using my Magic Mouse. And um, the problem with the Magic Mouse is that uh, you have a sensor on this side that's like the left button and a sensor on the side that's the right button and then uh, you have the ability to kind of scroll because um, the whole surface is touch sensitive but you don't really have a middle button on this mouse and also I want to be able to use Houdini on my laptop and once again on the laptop what you would do is you would click on your trackpad uh, for the left button mouse and you can uh, use two fingers and that's going to give you the right button mouse but there's no option for a middle button mouse. People suggested getting this uh, little add-on application called Magic Prefs and Magic Prefs allows you to uh, basically add like additional functionality to your Magic Mouse or your trackpad. Uh, for instance uh, right here it says uh, one finger middle axis click for the middle click. Okay now there are two problems with Magic Prefs. Uh, problem number one is that um, it's more than five years old and it's no longer being maintained and what this means is that um, with any new update of the operating system, Magic Prefs might stop working completely. And the other problem that I found that when I enabled, uh, in my case, I, I, I wanted to do a three finger click for the middle click. Um, and when I enabled this, I found that it kind of sort of worked, but it was a little twitchy. And uh, in some cases, it would just kind of really mess up uh, the uh, applications and it just would, I, I didn't like it. it. It just felt a little clunky and I didn't find it to be as responsive as I would have liked. So um, the next solution for me is like, okay, you know, I can't use the magic mouse. I need to find a three button mouse. Maybe that's what I need to do. And uh, what I ended up uh, buying is the Logitech, uh, I think this is called like the ultra thin uh, mouse. And what Logitech does is kind of neat. Um, basically, it's very similar to a magic mouse where you have like uh, this area for like the left click and this area for the right click. You can still use your finger to scroll and pan. Uh, and then uh, if you click somewhere around here, then you can enable this mouse to recognize this area as the middle click. So that kind of sort of fixed the problem, except I didn't really like the way this mouse felt. It's a little too small and uh, I didn't like the sensitivity, it just seemed a little too twitchy overall. And, and also the problem is that like if I want to use it with a laptop, once again I need like a surface, now I need to like kind of, I can't sit on my couch and just kind of use Houdini and just kind of mess around. I need uh, like to sit at a table or something to, you know, in order to have a mouse. So I didn't really like this either. Doing a bit of like digging around the forums, I finally found this in this little obscure little old thread on uh, side effects forum and um, and it just kind of blew my mind I was like wow it can't be that simple so the trick is that there's this uh, really neat command that you can plug into your houdini.env file and it's uh, it's really simple it says houdini under slash mmb for middle mouse button under slash pan 
equals zero. Okay, so how do we use this? Um, so let me uh, copy this. And um, first thing that we need to do is uh, go and find the Houdini env file, which is a file, it's a text file that gets booted up every time that you launch Houdini. So um, this file lives in the user library uh, on the Mac. Anyway, so on the Mac, what you want to do is you want to click on this go um, w um, menu, and then you want to hold down like the option. And when you hold down option, you'll see that like your user library folder appears. So uh, just click on that, and this will get you into like this uh, user library. And uh, scroll down until you find the preferences folder, and um, and scroll all the way down towards the bottom, and you'll find a Houdini folder. And here is a 16.5 folder, which is the version of Houdini that I'm using. And in here, you'll find the Houdini.env file. Okay. And, uh, and it's basically a text file, and you can open this uh, quite easily with uh, the text editor. What I like to use is this application that is called Text Wrangler. But, you know, text edit will, will be just fine. But um, let me launch Text Wrangler. I highly recommend this. I think it's still available in the App Store. So um, let me open this with um, Text Wrangler. And basically, this is all that there is. This is like your basic kind of uh, Houdini ENV um, text file. This is what comes out when you install Houdini for the first time and it automatically installs this file. Um, so what we're going to do is quite simply like paste this um, Houdini under slash MMB under slash pan equals zero. So um, we're just going to paste it right in here and then we're going to hit save. So what this is going to do is actually going to disable that middle mouse button. So uh, let's save and quit out of Text Wrangler. And now what we need to do is we actually need to uh, quit Houdini first because remember Houdini needs to load up this set of instruction and it does it when it launches. So let me quit Houdini and let me relaunch Houdini. And this time Houdini will relaunch and it will actually read uh, any instruction, any special instruction that's contained in the Houdini.env file. Okay. So here's what happens when we put in that command, the middle mouse button is now disabled. So when I hit down option, I can now um, rotate around my uh, viewport. When I hit the right mouse button, now all of a sudden I can pan. Look at that. And how do I zoom in and out? It's quite simple. I just use my uh, mouse scrolling. So I can kind of scroll in and out, um, up and down, I should say. And that allows me to um, to just use the zoom button. So all of a sudden, like I have all three of those functionalities available to me. I hope this was as useful to you as it was for me. It took me forever to find this. I can't believe that uh, it's something so simple and it makes Houdini so much more useful for me, both on my Mac so I can use my beloved Magic Mouse or on my laptop so I can use my trackpad. Um, even if you're not a Mac user and you're a PC user and you like to use a trackpad or you like to use a laptop, hopefully this is going to be uh, a handy bit of information to have. Anyway, thank you so much for watching my first tutorial. Please hit like below if uh, you like this tutorial or dislike if you really didn't like it. And subscribe, tell your friends, and there's more goodies to come. So stay tuned. And until next time, this is Case. Bye.